All right, you guys have been asking about this for a while now. It's been sitting behind my bench for a couple months, and I finally had time to get it all wired up and get it running. So this is the Virginia Beach Beast. I got it from uh, eBay, and uh, I wanted this one for a couple reasons, mainly because it runs a single motor instead of the dual motor that the new ones come with. So I'm gonna unvelcro this. You can see it has a Castle Sidewinder 3 system in here, and it's running a steering servo that is going to go ahead and help us, uh, you know, choose how much throttle is going to either track and control it. Running my Spectrum on here. I had to find a shorty that I could get to a Dean's. It's running a Dean's right now. I will swap this over to an uh, IC3, and I'll run my uh, Smart Packs on it here soon. But yes. I have it working, kind of. We're out here to do tests with it, see what needs to be done, and uh, if we need to trim some stuff in, what we gotta do. But uh, let's, let's give it a rip and see how it actually does. Ooh. I think we're getting used to. All right, so definitely it's, it's driving to the left some. And boy, is that... Oh, jumping it. The steering is very touchy, especially trying to drive it one-handed. And I'm having to stay on the right a little bit, the throttle, because it's wanting to uh, turn a little bit as I drive. It's not, it's not driving straight. It's hooked into the left. Too bad though. Definitely much sharper turn to the right. That's probably because I have it trimmed to the right. So. getting a lot of body rub so I took the body off for now just so I could see how it would run nice jump <laughs> uh oh oh no it's transmission oh the chain came off alright fix that alright that was easy to fix Flipped it right back on. Oh, nice. I'm tackling all that stuff.
I got roots and junk up here. It seems to be tapped on pretty much anything in front of it. But it is really hard to turn. Really hard to manage it right now. Because it's not driving straight. So I'm gonna have to find out how to trim it in. I've never worked with a system like this before. But I like how it's handling. But I somehow, let's see, is, is it hot? No, it's not hot, but it's getting warm. You have to somehow figure out how this works right here and how you would trim this kind of system where it's basically pulling out like a brake. I'm not sure exactly what that looks like, um, but it's very, finicky i'll ask around ask a few people that are running these see if they'll give me any tips all right so this is just meant to be a quick test video anyway i'm already finding one thing i'm gonna have to work out and that is a better way to mount this body on here uh the velcro on the sides is not holding enough and uh it's wanting to kind of rotate the body and hit the tracks. So I'm thinking what I'll have to do is make some kind of a mount system, which is very doable, that'll come up through here and in the back to support it so that it will sit down and it won't uh, ride on the tracks at all. So just kind of find out what height I need to get it up to and then uh, make a, a brace inside it to hold it. But other than that, I'll have to trim it in a little bit but over, I mean, overall, it's getting some good speed. And I was worried that it wasn't um, turning great, but that's because at low speed in the house, once I get up to speed, it doesn't lock up so much. Uh, under under little power, when you turn, it fully locks one of the, the tracks up. But when you're actually at speed, it's not too bad. It's very controllable. So I'm excited. Finally got my monster tank going. And uh, I've got another one to work on for you guys and uh, get running. But that's a little bit bigger project that uh that will probably take most of the year to complete anyway that's it guys hope you enjoyed this now you get to see it the virginia beach beast and i'm gonna get this thing cleaned off back on the desk and i do a little bit of working on it still anyway have fun our seeing guys and we'll catch you next time